Here we go. Henry David left his footprints round the pond, along the tracks and through the woods of Maine and beyond. For through the dusty sides of the Athenaeum rare, along the narrow crooked paths, with reverence and with care, with a genius for sauntering as vagrant meandering streams, mindfulness is gratitude. The touchstone of his dreams, the rust that he acquires from sojourn in his chamber, alarms as much as farmer's toil surpasses Hercules' labor. Henry's words, his footprints, those relics of his art, alive in breath through human lips, in a naturalist's heart. If a man walk in the woods for love of them each day. He'd be called a loafer, but let me walk. Gonna walk that way. To live alone in the woods and do so deliberately. To build oneself a cabin with great economy. To share the months of solitude while trotting Walden pages, footnotes and principles, treasures for. The ages. Henry's words, his footprints, those relics of his art, alive in breath through human lips, in a naturalist's heart. If a man walk in the woods for love of them each day, he'd be called a loafer. But let me walk, gonna walk that way. Henry's steps with compass pointing truth, his northern star, bay horse, hound dog, turtle dove, those mysteries near and far, searching to be honest in that transcendental air. He never stretched the seams in the coat that he would wear. Henry's words, his footprints, those relics of his art, alive in breath through human lips. In a naturalist's heart, if a man walk in the woods for love of them each day, he'd be called a loafer. But let me walk, gonna walk that way. He'd be called a loafer. But let me walk, gonna walk that way.